So here are some statements. So we have a set of A and a set of B, and we need to determine whether we should draw an arrow going this way, this way, or both ways. Okay? Is it a logical consequence? Does A imply B? Does B imply A? Or do we have A if and only if B? Okay? So they're my three choices. So the first line, we have the object is a cube. The object has six faces. Well, if the object is a cube, then it definitely has six faces. Okay? So think of it like a, a dice, okay, or a die rather. So the object is a cube, the object definitely has six faces. But if the object has six faces, does that necessarily mean that it's a cube? Well, no. It could be a cuboid, for example. It doesn't have to be a cube. And so the arrow only points from left to right. The second one, the polygon has four sides. The polygon is a quadrilateral. Well, if a polygon has four sides, then we would call it a quadrilateral. And if we are told that the polygon is a quadrilateral, then I immediately know that it has four sides. And so I draw the arrow going both ways. This is if and only if. Okay. For this one, x equals 29, x is greater than 10. So if x is 29, then x is greater than 10. So it works from left to right. However, if I'm told that x is greater than 10, that doesn't necessarily mean that x is 29, because x could be 11 or 100. Okay? So it doesn't work from right to left, and so it's only going from left to right. Then with the fourth one, x cubed equals x, x equals minus 1. Well, if x cubed is equal to x, then in order to solve that, you would have to factorise it. So you would have to do uh, take x on both sides. You'd then have to factorise this. So you'd have x times x squared minus 1 equals 0. And then you would have x times x minus 1, x plus 1, so the difference of two squares, equals 0. And so x can be 0, 1, or minus 1. So if x cubed is x, that doesn't mean that x is just minus 1. So it doesn't work from going from left to right. But if x is minus 1, then this statement works then this is true. Okay, so it only works from right to left. And that is how we go about uh, deciding which way the arrow should point. So if you're starting with the left-hand side, does the right-hand side then make sense? And if it does, then check, or, or even if it doesn't, then check if the right-hand side implies the left-hand side. And that will tell you which way that arrow should go.